Okay, everybody, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Here I am as Jim Milton, who's totally not John Marston. Why would you say that? What's wrong with you? You're wrong. Spoiler alert. I am in the epilogue. Welcome back to the epilogue, everybody. Batgirl. I am Batgirl. All right. What's the name of this horse, by the way? Ox. No, that's fucking... <laughs> Rachel. Okay. Is it just like a normal horse? It's a pretty big horse. This is your main horse. It's not a bad horse, actually. I'm okay with that. Okay. So. Oh, I don't have to go over. Oh, I can go to camp? Whoa, hang on. Let me check out this camp, okay? Nah, let's just do the store. Oh, yeah. Let's, I want to check out the camp. We're getting there, right? All right. So we will not do dinosaur bones today because it's monotonous I'll probably do that after I finish the story stuff just for the sake of quality of content because a lot of the stuff I did was not good quality content I think is there an upgrade shit or no there's no ledger I just want to see what's going on oh, I can shave John whoa 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 can I see John's shaven face I fucking can huh I was actually kind of disappointed by that. Oh, I didn't do anything because his hair is cut. Okay. Fair enough. Let's just carry on with the story. <laughs> that was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> Accomplished nothing there. Whoa, hang on. I just realized something. Weight perfect. The perfect weight. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see right there. And look, everything's changed with John. Okay. Okay, I like it. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. Hang in there, girl. And stop. Ah, uh, uh, he went. No. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey. Hey! Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. He's on to him. <laughs> he just gave him the tools. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the morning, wagon sir. up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Uh, Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. What about their names? Like... I was going to milk the cows. Come on. I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I 
Thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, well, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, oh. just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, they're all on him. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's actually pretty realistic. And it doesn't fill up that quickly though. Almost got a pail full. That's way too fast. With that being said, I haven't actually milked a cow before. I milked a goat. Hey, Lancelot. Hey. Lancelot. You're going to make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. That's enough. We dude. all got to earn our keep. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. That's good work for kids. I mean, at least it was for me. <laughs> Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm -hmm. Oh, it fucking sucks. But it is good work, especially for kids. <laughs> it teaches them some things. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned Ooh. out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Pretty damn important. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, this isn't exactly uh, this isn't exactly how this would work. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. No. You're too young to remember. <laughs> Ew. I feel like it'd be f faster if you just put it down the middle and you take one, I take one, and then just keep going. But that's just my personal, you know, thought in my mind. Look at this horse shit. <laughs> Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Also, it wouldn't take that long. Also, where are the horses at? 
Oh, don't, 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 don't run. I don't want my fitness to go down. We went through the wait. We went through that at last. No, stop. I do go faster in first person though, so I wonder how that affects everything. Can I do that fast walk thing? No. Okay. Hoping I could. We'll just calmly go over there on this big, beautiful day on a... Uh, won't tell me the time. Sulfic Punch. <laughs> That's Rachel. Yeah, I knew the name of that one. Let's go on on in. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Right, it's a shine. I'll put some coffee on. The horses need fed, dude. Three dollars. Fuck yes, dude. <laughs> How did I not get a golden that? Because I walked. Hi, Man. fellas. Hello, mister. Can you tell I'm having a terrible day? That's a shame. Things can only get better. Keep your head on the swivel. <laughs> what? Okay. 6.02 a.m. Yeah, that's about right. It's pretty cold, though. I guess he's wearing a long sleeve, but still. Let's just run our way over there. Jog our way over there, rather. I know what I said earlier, but it was taking too long. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe! Abe! I said, Abe. Yes, sir. Where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more. A mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, he's going. Good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Look at that old piece of shit. Hey, you Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Settle hey. down, okay? Need a hand with that horse? No. 
Yeah, you do. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yeah, easy. yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> oh, That's hey, Jeremiah. Easy now. Okay, Jeremiah. This is a there big boy. horse. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <sighs> Jesus. Come on. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. <laughs> Training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Calm yourself. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Yeah, where is that big mean horse? This is a smart idea, actually. This is a really smart idea. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. It's almost done. Not yet, though. It's not. Oh yeah! Look at that. Going around in circles, baby. <laughs> trouble now all right he's ready for you okay get on up there and go nice and slow went the wrong way stay calm me the horse you're calm my heart's beating a little Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. You should probably lead him. Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. You should probably just lead him so that doesn't happen, but okay. I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. Now they can make a whole nother DLC and package with this. Might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Um. I still gotta watch him? He's just going around in circles. You missed him, Milton? you were gonna help me I am I was I'm sorry come on I need a man's help Duncan what have I told you about distracting the hands I'm sorry ma <sighs> well I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband thanks Jim you're doing fine kid give him a carrot when you put him down don't know if I really okay okay I guess we're just gonna let him go <laughs> All right. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Grip them. A little more. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, <laughs> Mr. Milton. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Whoa. Did he get off Jeremiah by himself? That's good. And there's a new horse. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. I'm gonna make sure I take good care of this horse. I don't want to happen what happened last. Hey, see what happened last on? time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Calm down. Fucking Lancelot. Come on, then. All right. I don't even remember You're Abigail's cold, name. Okay. Is that bad? Fine. Can we go home? No. <laughs> You're. Stay calm. Where would you like to go ride, aside from home? I don't know, but maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident, yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. Don't you there dare you hit are. that rock. Okay, I thought, he's, I thought I was going to go right into it. Or that tree. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See? You can do it. Now how about you speed up a mite? Okay. No, oh, he's liking it now. That's good, right there. Keep an eye on him. I think this is a good speed, though. And then again, the horses in this game can be pretty dumb, so... Maybe not, but I think it's good. Okay, we're slowing down. You're okay, girl. 
Even faster, come on. Faster? Yeah. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. We'll watch it. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. What's happening? Help! Easy there. Easy there. Whoa! Jack! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to see how far you can go. Way to be a good dad there, Jim. Alright. Yep. Let's go again. Last straight. Come on. Hey -ya! I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. Alright. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Oh, you dickhead. I thought we were going the other way. Don't get cocky, boy. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. I'm having fun with this. Oh, he's catching up, though. And you're much smaller, like a jockey. Ooh, he's got you there. You'll be okay. He's got you there. He has got you there, motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> That's a girl. There you go. <laughs> oh shit! He's taking a shortcut. He's taking a shortcut. He's taking a shortcut. What a cheater. I beat you. I beat you. I Well beat ridden, son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. <laughs> hey. Mm. I'll get the coffee on. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Fatherhood for beginners. Win the race, didn't do that. Yep, didn't do that. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know about that one. I don't know how many you gotta beat to get 100%. I'm not gonna get gold in every single thing. No, more than likely won't. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what you have to do for 100%. I'll probably just hit the quota. Which is what I did in GTA 5. I, well, did I? I don't remember what I did in GTA 5. Huh. Should hey, I do a GTA 5 bro, playthrough? Can you Comment give down me below. With this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. 
So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Okay, that was the Dutch talking. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. <laughs> he nailed that so badly in there. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Yep, the that's how you do it. This is actually a bitch to do. That's way too much. Right there. Boom. That's it. Okay. I cannot see the hole on that side at all. Fine. Guessing. Got it. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. You should probably pound that in just a little bit more because he had to pull it. The basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Jim Milton becoming one of the best rancher workers around. To get Jack though over here, Lancelot over here. Do one more. Jim Milton, over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Oh shit! Oh shit! This is gonna go bad. Come on, Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. I know how it's Mr. Milton. Angus is your Come boss's on. son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Uh oh. No oh, fuck. Oh! I'll get him. No, no. Good move. <laughs> oh no. Come on. Holy shit. I got him. That's good. Nope. Come on. Okay, calm down. Uh oh. Okay, he fucked that up badly. Oh, nope, he got me. <laughs> no, you don't. You need to calm down. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. There, there. There, there. He's up. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. Oh, come on. Don't get no ideas. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Uh-oh. Old habits. I don't like the sounds of that. 
Does he like dead bodies on his property? No, no, come on, mister. <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, get him now. Come on, get him. You're a oh, bum. Last time you had a bath. Oh, oh heck. Out. Yeah. They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Oh, he's licking you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will you? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. I mean, he kind of saved that guy's life, so... We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. How did I not get that one? I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. <sighs> okay, I didn't do that. I didn't do any. I didn't do any. Other. I tried to not get hit, though. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile. Smile. Do not embarrass me. <laughs> Mr. Milton? Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an... Incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What is no one in Rockstar? What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. 
Undead Nightmares flashbacks. How come no one in Rockstar World sleeps underneath the covers? Who's this? New hand. Watch it burn. You put him down, all right. This guy's a bun. This guy's a bitch, dude. I was gonna say punk, and I like mix it with bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in. It's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I almost got the full-on John Marston outfit. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, he has his own! <laughs> Let's fucking go. Really, a Lancaster? Repeating shotgun, nice. I lost all my knives, that's cool. I lost my pirate shit. And here we go. Okay, if you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Arthur's yeah. hat. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle, and to teach some manners to all of you. So you're gonna have to show your real name here soon, aren't you? I need a hat. That's actually pretty damn important. I had his hat. Thank you. So many headshots right now. Yeah, 
Getting up close personal. Boom! Said something about my wife. Oh, that, oh okay, so that can spawn then. Backwoods, sacker, no good trash. What's it like the, one of the other two guys that's with me wouldn't do anything here? Oh, good uppercut. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first. That's where the cover art came from. My hat. Shit. What are the revolvers they got up here? Oh, that's just gonna be like the uh, more repeaters and shit. Okay, never mind. There's the John Strutt right there. Okay, so what's going to be the, uh, the, uh, oh my God, really? Oh, okay. It's going to be the, What's, what's the word I'm looking for here? The repercussions of this? The outcome of this? I'm not really sure how to describe it. I, I know the word I'm looking for, I just can't figure it out. Say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? There really wasn't anything he could have done. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Okay, what are the, what's the gold objectives for this? 15 hatch. I didn't get 15 hatch charts. I didn't do dual wheeling at all. Fuck. I thought I had way more headshots than that. I want to milk this cow.
cool. <laughs> Come back later to milk another bucket. Oh, I was about to say, you live? But you're live. This game has more role-playing elements since Fallout 76 has. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? That's the name of it. Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered, I'd. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the. Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. Yeah, real out. exciting. Of course. I don't think she knows her name. <laughs> I don't know her name. Right, right, right over that tree. Good Beautiful. Nice out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Your ma was wrong about that. She actually was wrong about that. Usually the woman is always right. But she was actually wrong. Hey, Rarities. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w w what do I do? Well, just hold them and... Pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster. Give him a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. Easy. Okay, good job. His hands aren't connected to the to the to the thing, but okay. Get mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. You should take him fishing and ask him who did it. 
who taught him how to fish. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Uh-oh. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. There definitely was a bounty hunter in there, okay, right? Pa. Or a Pinkerton or something. Go back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. I was just checking if we can go a little faster and look like we can. Looks like it's about to rain, though. Oh, look at this guy working in the fields. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. Uh oh. Say slow down. You slow down, okay? Uh. <laughs> sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia. That guy did not look too good. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. What's wrong, Pop? Nothing. Yep, um... Is somebody Slow back down. there? Just Don't keep driving. Like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa! Someone following us. It's about to go down. In the rain. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. Yeah. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Yeah, that guy's following me. Huh? What? Nothing. 
Just keep trying. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pop. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now. Uh, come on. Quick, now. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Oh. Oh. This Close. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Okay, you should Come probably on. tell the ranchers. Can we get home quicker, please? I'm working on it, Jack. Please drive better. <laughs> I'm working on that too, Jack. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened... Things could have gone real wrong for us. Kind of Abigail's fault, not gonna lie. Okay, well this is gone. Not exactly great. But okay. Okay, here we are. That was an uh eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. 
If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. I kind of want to shave when I get a chance. Want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That might be it, actually. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. I don't see him very well. I oh, know I see him. Okay. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. I'll be damned indeed, my dude. Sure, we're allowed in Valentine after we shut up the whole place in Valentine, right? Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. 
Take your mind off it. Oh, did I gotta do all three of these? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, hey. This, uh, oh, don't. It's all right. Oh, I, I was hoping it was. Why is that? Well, where the fuck is uh, Jeremiah? I don't know. Nice morning, ain't it, Mister? All right. <laughs> oh yeah, did the cow one because this one's easy. Was that cow had like no milk in it? What the fuck? Oh, I had to do one thing. One. Is that his undershirt that he wears in the first game? I think it is. her full hey you know I was wrong about you turned into a fine worker Jim Milton oh thank you means a lot hey you think I could speak with mr. Geddes see if maybe he's open to offer me some guidance no, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least thank you mr. Dickens can I shave the fucking beard off god damn Oh, get around that. There we go. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Pretty happy about that. <sighs> Taking him out, huh? Oh, that is the best.
That's John. Fuck yes, let's go. With a big old beard. Oh, hang on. Before we do anything else, John, you're shaving his fucking beard. You're gonna be the John we know. I imagine it's in poor condition. Oh, listen to music. I mean, it's bad because I'm going in here and it's gonna ruin it, but music. Uh, where's the shaving? I, I thought it was over here. There it is. Okay, he wasn't full. I think that's good. Three? No, you're not doing that. Oh, that's pretty close. Alright, I'm gonna go to Stady first. I know probably story you know people probably like, oh you gotta go to that first. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to Sadie, dude. This is more important to me. Good girl. Is this still Arthur's hat? Yep. What do I have for outfits? The cowboy and custom outfit, huh? Hang on, I wanna see this. Okay. No different. Okay. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> Like he just oh, partner. I have Callaways. I'm keeping John's. I have I have, I have everything. I have everything back. Hey. Oh shit. Yes. Just the way I missed it. I like it. Hang in there, girl. I like it a lot, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I know some people might think this is kind of ridiculous. Some people might agree. Matter of fact, I've read some people where they do agree with me with this. I think they should remake the first game with it for DLC. Not doesn't have to be expensive. Just do twenty dollar DLC uh, for the first game to be remade in this game. I totally down for this. Complete the saga. Complete the Dutch gang saga. The Vanderlyn saga. Oh, is this for sale? You might as well, right? I see no reason why they can't do it. None at all. Um, maybe... Um, okay, maybe I can think of some. Maybe tweak the... The, uh... The challenges a little bit. But... Yeah, that's it, actually. Just tweak the challenges a tiny bit. Everything else just might as well keep, right? Hey, oh, hang on, can John swim? 
If John can swim, this is broken. Because John can't swim. There's a camp there. John Marston cannot swim. That's why he can't get to Mexico. Or Blackwater early in the game. I guess I can find out. Okay, well, it's not telling me. All right. I like plan is John. I can't do this for very many guides except for the ones that have to be completed after the game is over. So dinosaur boats. But I do like this quite a bit. Who's a good horse? Oh fuck. I knew that was gonna go bad. Can I feed the horse real quick? Oh, I don't have any. Okay, well, that's a no. That's a big old no. Nice Philly. Nice Philly. Look at the size of that thing. You never realize how fast Frost was until you get this horse. But God, I miss Frost. I miss Frost so much. I was gonna get some food before I went in there, but it looks like she's in the saloon as well. I guess that makes sense. She said she would be. My little girl thinks she found a piece of gold. In it. How's everything with you? You ever wonder what the hell good? Where's she at? I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What is that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> well, it's legal, I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. It's gonna be Trelawney, isn't it? Hello there. Hey, Come on. We got or Strauss. Ride. Maybe it's... Oh. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. 
I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. You know, they had uh, plenty of fake names they couldn't use. Dutch was like, used that for everything. Wow, it glitched out. She didn't go all the way. And then again, it could have been stupid horse AI. Okay. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Ooh. You hit him that way. I was hoping to be somebody I knew. Yeah, this fella. Anything? You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here, it's... Resort town, you see, the Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Thank After you, sir. The general store or the post office, they tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Can I say thank you to him or no? Okay. Alright, hop up a bit inside the general store. I haven't been here in a while. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. I'm looking for a fella. A uh, New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. I'm just going to keep going from place to place. I might. <laughs> Only guy in here. You uh, you seen a fella, a fella from New York, bald guy? Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. <laughs> God, I hope this is someone I know. Hope it's Strauss. Or Tenpenny. I don't think it's, I don't think Tenpenny was bald. Strauss might have been, but he's older than 45. I don't know. There's a card right there. <laughs> Lord knows about those. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Stop! Oh, stop. Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him! Oh, shut up! Say anything about his horse being alive, though. I know. He went right. It's 
Oh shit. God, I don't like that. That's all a rock. I freaked out. Thank you for hey, miss. Leave me alone. Nathan Kirk. There we go. I needed that. Right, the horse bond is time to go up. That's good. We got him. What? Look out. It's okay. The fucking sheep, really? Obviously not. Oh, I thought she was gonna run into the tree. That'd be great. God damn it, Sadie. Got him now. What you got there? Huh? I don't deserve this treatment. Is that a present for me? Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a is a desperate woman. How are you married, sir? None of your business. What I am. <laughs> She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a diff. You uh, coming along, uh, Liam? What now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so. I'll come find you. Ah, uh, another mission, another bronze. Oh yeah, I didn't do that at all. Didn't do that at all either. Okay. That, the, the, what was the second one? The first one could have been done if you knew what to do. If you don't know what to do, that's going to be hard. I'm not too far away. Let's just go to it. Oh, the whole area is open. Wow. I'm gonna see the old stomping grounds or the new stomping grounds, I guess. Not really sure how to describe those stomping grounds. You okay? That's a girl. Ooh. They could do the undead nightmare hey. as well as Red Dead One. And then they could do another Undead Nightmare Redux. And you could play as... You could have Zombie Arthur. Or just Arthur in general. I guess that depends on you, how you finish the game though, huh? <gasps> but they all come back. Strauss, Lenny. I guess we don't know what happened to Charles, do we? Huh. Well, they lose the, uh, the Indians lose the war, so and the remaining go to Dutch. So I guess where the fuck am I going? This is the weirdest route I've ever seen in my life. You just get scared by a frog, Rachel. Ain't you a good horse? Where the fuck are we? <laughs> oh. We're in Blackwater. We're going to Blackwater. I didn't think that was. I thought we were going to. Easy now. Holy shit! What is going on up there? Oh. <laughs> this is Blackwater. There's is that. Whoa, is that the tree? Hang on. Is this a tree with the fence to it? Please be the tree with the fence to it. Please be the tree with the fence to it. Please be the tree with the fence to it. Please be the tree with the fence to it. It kind of looks like it. I was looking for fat. Oh, 
This is it. Oh. oh, this is beautiful. Oh, the buffalo! No way! They're all there. <laughs> yes! Okay. I'm a little teary eyed. The memories, man. A snake or something next to me. Is there two? And this should be Blackwater. That should be the cemetery. Oh, I'm s holy shit. Okay. Where are you? No? Wait, is it? Let's find out. Let's see what this is up here. Can we go to McFarland's ranch? Sir! You're a hard worker, all right. Some of us gotta work for a living. It's a fine thing to see. Goodbye. <laughs> you did not want to deal with my shit. <laughs> oh. The memories, the emotions I'm having right now are just amazing. Now, I don't remember these houses too well, though. Well, I'm way past Blackwater. I went past Blackwater. <laughs> I got excited when I saw the buffalo. It should be like a little town just south of Blackwater that has like gambling. To oh my god. <laughs> Can you still get up on these roofs? Blackwater. This is it. Hello. Oh, forget it. Hey. Okay, so Red Dead One, this is a little more darker, the uh road is. Hello, mister. Howdy, mister. How do you? Oh, let's get the good old black water food going. Hang on. Hitch the horse. Good work today. How do you do? Right here, folks. Paper. Hello, miss. Hello there. You know, a man as stupid Come as you is mighty you hard to reach. Gentlemen. Here, Larry McGee's got hold of most of the west. Damn, you get so away from me. What do you need? Prairie chicken. Bone apple. I don't need much. Just give me one. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Inspect what? Oh, is there a card over here or something? No, it's a menu. Okay. Oh, you're dirty, girl? Okay. This will be the last mission I do for today. Um. Okay. Mister? That didn't. He didn't. I was trying to. Trying to hit you, but okay. <sighs> Hello? Hey, mister. Hello there. I don't remember the bank, Hello, actually. Can I, can I help you? Good yeah. Day. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Figured this was going to be him. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch. Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But 
I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. I'm pretty happy about this, too. I get to see the old ranch. All right, uh, I said that's gonna be the last mission. It's gonna be this. Is, this is gonna be the last. I, I don't. I don't want to put this down. God, dude, I'm gonna go to Armadillo. I'm gonna go to fucking McFarland's Ranch. Can you? Go, I don't think you can go down to Mexico. I know tumbleweeds in here because uh, the hell is wrong? you, you kind of accidentally. You, the game kind of spoiled there, it for girl. me. It literally showed tumbleweed. Good girl. <laughs> I'm so excited. Dude, I have played this for like way longer than I. Oh my god, that's a church. <sighs> Doing okay, girl. Oh, the memories. You know that's why I knew what that fucking tree was right. You know that, right? Like I was like, oh, that's the fucking tree. Penny for the blind. I'll give you a penny. You made it pretty far, sir. Penny for the blind. Oh god. Uh. Penny for the blind. I can't. Um. Hang on. Ain't you special? Skip. Go on. Yeah. Go on, girl. Did an honorable thing there. Um, can we loot to figure out what happened to her and not lose honor because of that? No. Okay. Um. Okay, I can't give you a dollar, not a penny. Like I physically, it physically won't let me give it to you. What's going on up here? Oh, you don't deserve this. That sucks. The only thing about doing a possible remake is the mountain area, the north area. It's kind of different, I think. Well, then again, there's the mountains right there. So maybe... Red Dead 1 just takes place. This river's not here. There's a mount. Yeah. What's this called? Upper Montana River? Montana? This is not Montana. And those are clearly mountains. Huh. Oh, that's what this was from. Okay. Oh, hang on. Get our shit. There we go. Let's go. Can I help you, friend? 
I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. That's what you're trying to sort out right now. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. What a shot that was. Holy shit. Dude, he missed that so bad. Holy shit. Ah, it's you. The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Lumbago. Follow me. Speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch. 
bench in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Now you're going to tell him that's a piece of shit, or are you just going to not say that anytime soon? Because it's not pretty, my dude. His horse doing that noise. Exactly. Did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Two epilogues? What? I guess that makes sense, but okay. <sighs> You've actually done a pretty damn good job. Really? Bronze on that? You did a pretty damn good job. Oh my god. It's me again. Okay, but I said I was going to stop it after that mission, so we got to hey, stop hey, it. Easy. Uh, Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe for, for more. Comment down below what you think. And yeah, later.